So uh, a, a trading firm can, uh, can enhance its trading activities and its abilities um, using the right um, extranet in a number of ways. Um, the first and probably the most important way is uh, by gaining access to a connected uh, community. Um, by having access to that connected community, it means that the trading firm can rapidly enhance the, uh, the time it takes to get to market. So they can start, uh, they can start, um, uh, they can start to achieve the, uh, their, um, the benefits from their trading activities um, you know, far sooner. Another way that they can, um, uh, they can uh, tap into an extranet provider to improve their uh, business uh, capabilities is um, uh, by um, helping them to expand uh, regionally or in a new territory. Again, it's about providing access to a community, um, but not only does it give you uh, speed to market in that community, you're able to tap into the local expertise, the local resources, the people with market knowledge, not only with market knowledge, but with the contacts in that um, region as well. And then I think from a business point of view, one of the main uh, benefits, especially for the vendor community, is it reduces the barriers to entry for customers because they're tapping into a, uh, a, a shared infrastructure model. The cost is lower um, and it makes it easier for their customers to get to them or if they want to pay for the connectivity, it makes it more cost effective for them to get to their customers. So there, I think there are many ways that uh, trading firms can, uh, can gain benefits from working with an extranet provider. But I would stress they need to work with the right extranet provider and they need to do their due diligence to ensure that the community exists. Does that uh, extranet provider have a direct relationship with that community? Um, are the services that they're providing very, very robust and secure? Um, and, uh, and then uh, lastly, have they got a, a good reputation in the marketplace? Because at the end of the day, if you're outsourcing your connectivity and your infrastructure to a, an extranet provider, you want to make sure that they're going to support what it is that you're trying to do as well. So for, um, uh, for firms to, uh, to expand their operations and to manage uh, hosting activities in remote data centers or overseas, it's a very complex and challenging task for them uh, to do. And there are a number of ways that a managed hosting service provider can help them to achieve that. Um, one of the ways is it, it, it transforms the business model from a, a CapEx model uh, to an OpEx model. So it eliminates the need to uh, secure uh, capital from your business and allows you to, uh, to um, get up and running far more uh, speedily. Um, another way uh, that it, uh, it helps is it eliminates the need for IT resources. Um, if you're going to invest in, uh, in um, activities uh, uh, remotely or overseas, you're going to have to either uh, employ contract resources or full-time resources. Uh, by using a managed services provider, um, you're tapping into that pool of expertise that exists already and it eliminates the need for, uh, for, um, uh, uh, for your own IT resources. Um, another area that um, uh, it can help in, in the managed hosting space is it can help you to market your services uh, in, in other areas. Um, so if you're, say for example, uh, an FX trading firm, a European FX trading firm, and you wanted to establish a presence in, in Asia, um, uh, but you wanted to put your toe in the market, um, uh, you can use the services of a managed hosting service provider. Um, you, you establish your brand in that area without having to make uh, a lot of investment um, and, uh, and, and you can start to test the market and then um, you can expand and grow as your, as your business needs. So again, um, it, it's a very scalable solution. You can start small and then it can grow with you as, as, uh, as your business grows and as your business expands.